Witnesses told the jury today that there's three crime scenes associated with this case. First of all, the cornfield where police say that Sierra Joggin was abducted from. Then a barn on James Worley's property where police say that she was held. And finally, the cornfield where her body was found. All of these were key today. It was broken corn socks that led to the discovery of a struggle here. There were reddish brown stains on the corn in that area with that cone is marking that. So that's another another area and then there is broken corn down on that section of the photograph also. That I'm a further look led investigators to begin collecting several pieces of evidence, a pair of sunglasses and a sock with blood stains, all belonging to Sierra, along with items that weren't Sierra's, like a bloody motorcycle helmet and men's sunglasses. Items investigators testify led them to James Worley's property. Inside his home, an investigator describes finding boxes of adult diapers, possibly for Worley's elderly mother. But this testimony was important to the state's case after they mentioned in opening statements Sierra was wearing a diaper when her body was found. And besides the house, a barn also searched. The door had been forced open. I noticed that the windows were blacked out. Um, I noticed portions of the barn had spray foam on it. Uh, it just looked like it had been made to where nobody could see in or out. Outside the barn, evidence was also collected from Worley's red pickup truck. A crime scene investigator showed the jury these large zip ties already fastened, mace, duct tape, rope, and a ski mask all found inside. Now, of the four dozen potential witnesses, most of them are crime scene investigators and police officers, and those are the witnesses that the jury will continue to hear from tomorrow. Reporting in Fulton County, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.